What's up, everybody? It's your boy P from Loud Pack Boxing. Happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing all right today. Um, like I said, we're living in a crazy time right now. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. A lot of um, unfortunate people out here lost their jobs, or some people was already doing bad before the pandemic hit, wasn't working or whatever. It's just a lot of bad situations going on right now, but like they say life is what you make it um i just want to um you know be appreciative of all the things that you do have it's a lot going bad but it's a lot going good too um but for me personally this little youtube thing is my outlet you know what i'm saying um it's something i like to do so, you know, in the midst of all the chaos, this is something that's help, helping me get through. Just having a, a platform to express myself on. But anyway, y'all, uh, it's fight week once again. I feel like I'm saying the same thing, but the last few weeks we've been having, it been a fight week. And this week is no different. Actually, this week is a little bit more special because we got my boy Tank Davis in the ring this weekend. You know what I'm saying? The Baltimore champ, you know, this is... A big one for my Baltimore people out there going down this weekend Halloween um, let me know where the Halloween costume fight parties are this weekend you know what I'm saying I'm trying to throw my own but it should be a lit weekend this weekend but um, as far as the fight man I just wanted to do a quick breakdown prediction um, this is a very very big test for Javonta Davis and it's also a big test for um, Leo Santa Cruz as well. I don't think either guy has faced um, this type of, 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 of this type of opponent before, as far as being this dangerous. Um, Tank Davis, um, he cannot afford to not let his hands go against a guy who is as active as a Leo Santa Cruz, a guy who throws a hundred punches around, a guy who um, puts on relentless pressure. Thanks, Davis. You know, he needs to assert himself early, establish his jab, and set up the big shots. And um, in my opinion, try to get Leo out of there. Um, Leo's never been stopped. He's a tough guy, Mexican. It's not going to be easy, but in my opinion, that's the best bet for Tank Davis. You know, set up some some good shots and try to get Leo out of there, go to the body, you know, break the body down and pick and choose and set up his shots. But letting his hands go at the same time, you can't be letting 20 shots around go compared to Leo's 100 punches around. I mean, you can't afford to let too many rounds get away from you because Leo is a volume puncher and I don't think Tank Davis really wants to go the distance with uh, Leo Santa Cruz so you know in my opinion he needs to go in there, assert himself, establish the jab and set up some big shots and try to get uh, Leo Santa Cruz out of there um, as far as Leo is concerned I mean like I said we kind of know what Leo is going to do when he once he gets in there he's just going to let his hands go non-stop you know what I mean? It's not really much to <laughs> expect different from him. That's what he does. So I don't see anything different for this fight. You know, um, I think it's more on Tank Davis to establish himself, you know, cause some damage and get Leo out of there. Um, I've been watching the 24-7s, you know, part one and part two. Both of them have been very insightful. Definitely good look into the backstory of the fight the fight is the climax it's the ultimate thing in the fight game but it's a lot of steps before you actually make it to the ring so um you know i'm anticipating a really really good competitive fight um come halloween trick-or-treat is going down but um of course i'm always better on the home you know my my, my baltimore brethren you know what I'm saying? Javonta Tank Davis. 
I personally think Javante stops him inside of 10 rounds. That's my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? But that's how I see the fight playing out. I mean, Tank Davis, he knows that if he gets past this test, the sky's the limit for him, you know? And um, make no mistake, it's a lot of eyes on Tank Davis, you know, not just celebrities and Floyd Mayweather. I'm talking about the youth out here in the world, mainly Baltimore City, who look at Tank Davis as a guy who made it out, you know, and giving them hope that they can make it out, whether it's through boxing, sports, or whatever the case may be. It's that, it's that hope that he um, provides for some of the youth in Baltimore. So it's a big, big fight for a lot of different reasons. Um, like I say, um, Tank Davis representing Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore City, Upton Boxing Center. You know, he's definitely a homegrown fighter. Got the dog in him from Baltimore. So um, I'm just looking forward to this weekend. But y'all have in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about the fight. Let me know y'all predictions. Let me know how y'all think the fight is going to play out. Um, make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. I mean, I'm trying to get my YouTube up. You know what I mean? So y'all try to help me out with that. You can reach me on IG or check me out on IG at Loud Pack Boxing. Um, and for those who might want to even support, you can support me on my cash app. It's dollar sign, Parence Barnhill. Um, it'll be in my description to the video if you want to support. If you don't, that's cool too. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I'm going to be doing this regardless of whether people support it or not. It's just it's an outlet for me to express myself at any time, 3 o'clock in the morning, my lunch break at work, whenever. So it's... Um, it's not a problem to me to put videos out, you know what I mean? So, um, but that's all I really got, man. Um, I hope y'all enjoy y'all Monday. It's a rainy Monday where I'm at, but you know, it is what it is. We getting it done. Um, and that's all I really got. So y'all have a good one. It's your boy Pete and I'm out.